Hello everyone, welcome back to part 47 of the Platinum Walkthrough for Dark Cloud 2. In this video, we're going to clear out all these dungeons right here. So this is the hardest ward, and as in as what we did in the last episode, we're going to try and get as many medals as we possibly can in our first playthrough. So we need to do this floor within 12 minutes, we need to not heal, and we need to win that speeda. I think that should be very possible. Very doable. Alright, well, just Steve it. Just hop on Steve and let him do everything. And Cooter, huh? Well, the enemies are gonna have some big HP now. And it might be good to pull out the Nova Cannon for, the, for some of these things. If there's going to be some flying enemies, I'm just going to use the Nova Cannon. We cannot afford to take damage like that. Because we can't heal on this floor. Cerberus, huh? Yeah, this is definitely going to be a good floor to use the Nova Cannon. Fighting those things with melee weapons sucks. Well, outside of fighting Mimics, it doesn't seem like we're going to have to open any chests on this floor, really. Let's go this route. I know that this thing will occasionally shoot three in a row. That can become very helpful for sure. Mimic. Yeah, just a normal Mimic, so there's going to be Mimics to fight in this floor. 800 experience points, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, enemies have like 10,000 HP now. It's actually not that bad. We are given a pretty generous amount of time to do this. Crow Mounus? I don't really know if that's how you say it. There's a lot of chests, so there's probably going to be quite a few Mimics to take care of. There might be a King Mimic among them. Sometimes when there's small Mimics, there's a King Mimic. And there is one thing that we can get that would actually be helpful from these chests, and that's Holy Stones. Since I made some light speed items, they require holy stones, they're worth making, because it's an additional item that you can use, and you can just get lucky and get more holy stones to drop to max your stack. So it's worth making them, and they deal higher damage than holy stones, and they work on basically everything. It's almost like having an extra stack of final bombs, so they're definitely worth having. Okay. Let's just take this guy out. Cool. I think I'm going to put the swords back on, and I'm just going to use this guy for travel now, because I, uh, I don't really want him to take any more damage. So I'll probably have Max do some work with the supernova on any enemies I'm not confident Steve will take out easily. Like that. We can just have Max handle that. Oh crap, I'm gonna get attacked by two now. Okay, block. Take care of some business. Now that he's down on the ground level. Easy. Two combo enemies. Okay, I don't want him taking another hit because he'll go down. Supernova. Nice. <laughs> I 
And he's dead. All right. Oh, we can't heal him because then we won't get the medal. So, Max, you're up. Supernova. Why did I block? Just finish him. He's at low HP. Uh, it's because I didn't know how much uh, HP these things actually have. All right, easy. By the time he actually gets over to us, he'll be done. Oh yeah, the stop helps with that too. We're gonna get on Monica. She's slightly faster, so when Thunder Gem run for the win. <laughs> if Steve is down and we can't heal, this is our fastest means of transportation. I'm not kidding either. That's pretty much the one good thing about monster form, is it does move slightly faster. Nice and easy. Okay, there's a Mimic here. Oh, that was a pretty decent experience. So these last floors may be better for leveling up the gem run. I mean, it kind of makes sense realistically. Okay, that's it. Cool. And yes, we are going to do the speeda. How long did that take us? That's annoying. It keeps doing that. Uh, wow, we did that in half the time required. Okay, how hard of a shot is this one? Okay, we need all of our shots. Okay, not too hard, not too light. It was a little too light. I think we can still deal with this though. Okay, I'm not 100% sure on what to expect with this. Well, that did a job. I don't know if it was the job that needed done, needed to be done, but it did a job. We need a little bit of luck right now. It's something that's not like that. Yeah, we can't do this anymore. If, if I can kind of like line this up in any way, then I'll just, all right, maximum effort no matter what, because this has actually worked for me like twice. And that did nothing. Oh well. Can't win them all. At least we're right beside the exit. We may as well just kind of go have Cedric fix up Steve for us quickly. Well, two out of three ain't bad. just a very quick teleport to have Cedric fix the ride pod anyway, so it's no big deal. There we go. Let's get back to it. That should have fixed up our weapons too. At least the ones that he had equipped. All right, so what are we doing next? Hell Ward 3, Wellside Gossip. This is a Steve-only floor. Okay. We have 13 minutes to do this. These are the big boy floors. Although with our ultimate weapons, I don't think it'll be too hard. The map's not particularly large. Mrs. Gorgon. So these ones are married. Ah, oh, there's a molar over there. These are the worst kinds of enemies.
I would rather fight 15 dragons all at once than fight even one more. Maybe that's why it's called a Hell Ward, because there's molars in here. <laughs> there is no Ride Pod weapon that's good against these things, but melee does seem to be the best. Maybe a hammer would actually work well against them. I'm not going to try it out for four enemies. That thing hit me two or three times though, but we, we can, we're allowed to use ride pod fuel now, so it's fine. Bam, bam, chew. I don't care. It's a spider, so I don't want to see it. Oh, there's a killer snake over there. A dead rope. Man, he's not very strong. A killer serpent is weaker than a spider lady, apparently. This is not a very hard floor. 13 minutes is a very generous amount of time. There are other floors that are harder. There's a couple floors that have dragons. Those floors are harder to do. No, I don't want you to heal, especially not that molar. Getting four hits on them is more than enough already. Although that one was actually decently smooth. Ah, uh, another one. Okay, we're gonna die, so let's... Use some fuel. Ah, oh, man, they're healing. Okay, we're getting some hits on the molar, that's good. Nice, it's done. That was pretty smooth. I like it. Another one, it's probably one of the last molars, which is good. There might be one more after this. I think this is the fourth or fifth one we're fighting. I know you want to jump. Come on, do it. One more hit. There we go. It's done. Clown, huh? That's exactly what the molars are. Darkness! Oh, it's just dark, actually. I think that thing probably has exactly 10,000 HP. Oh, another one. Okay, we got a solid three hit combo. Although it looks like we just got a solid three hit combo on us. No, it was just twice. Well, it's a good thing we can use the fuel. Might as well repair his sword. There we go, not too bad. Hopefully that's the last one. We're almost at 99999 XP. I may have added an extra 9. Ah, there is another one. That sucks. We're at max experience points. We've officially won the game with Steve. Experience points are now useless. Oh, come on, don't make me use another one. I mean, it's not its not so hard to go buy another one, but I, I really hate these things so much. I could spend 10 minutes just fighting one of these things, seriously. Let's just run away. Because that seems to make it... No, I guess it was just that one-time thing. There 
There we go. If we never fight another molar, it'll be a day too soon. Okay, well it's two, now let's go for three. Okay, can we do this? Yeah, we have a generous amount. We are allowed to make a mistake, but it might be better if we just don't make a mistake. Uh, this might be too hard. Where's it gonna go? Don't go out of bounds. It's not, a, can I reach that? Oh man, we're screwed, okay. That's annoying. That happens sometimes. This also happens in Minichi occasionally. That's frustrating, because this was a very doable shot, too. <laughs> Nothing we can do. Let's go. Devil Elemental. Max is gun only, huh? Should be easy. It's pretty much good against everything. Steve makes very short work of these floors, getting them done in like six minutes. Okay. okay. Wind Servant. Ah, oh, he's not very strong. This map isn't very big either. Is this just all elementals? It seems so. And this is just an empty room. Let's deal with this guy first. Oh, we, set, we paralyzed him at the right time. <laughs> There's probably mimics in here. Oh. Man, we're getting really lucky with these paralysis. Or with the paralyzes. The stops, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, this is just only elementals. Yeah, we completely cheesed this place by maxing the attack on our weapons with amethysts. <laughs> that makes this so much easier. It means we don't have to spend 37 hours taking down three enemies. Well, that's why I'm glad we have resurrection powder. Because they could still take us down in one hit. <laughs> what does it take to actually make these things? Oh, that is very expensive. I really do not want to end up making those. So hopefully we get some more to drop for us. The Holy Stone, that's, that's what makes that hard. Um, it's much better to try and use the holy stones for either light speed or just having them as items to begin with to take out tough enemies. Okay, let's not let that happen again, shall we? Nothing. <laughs> There aren't actually a lot of games that'll give you a treasure chest and have just have there be nothing in there.
Isn't Tempest Wind? So I feel like that would have been a better name for the actual wind elemental. I was taking a sip of coffee and I didn't really want to die. <laughs> I was literally getting hit by these things one time, I'll just take Max out if you don't block any of it. Oh, well that was easy. There's two, let's go for three. Four shots. Is that doable? It should be. As long as we get this done perfectly. Not too hard, not too light, just perfect. Okay, let's take a look at where we need to aim. Okay, that's basically just a straight shot. We just need to get that over the stairs, pretty much. Basically just a straight shot. Hmm, don't go out of bounds. All right, we have two shots. We should be able to make this work with a with a bounce. I hope that wasn't too hard. Okay, it was too hard, but it seemed to work out anyway. So cool, we got it. Three out of three, first try, I like it. Since there's only one more treasure chest, we may as well open it. Ooh, we got a diamond. Too bad we don't really need it. <laughs> uh, that's my problem. I'm the one who uh, took advantage of game mechanics and maxed all my stats. <laughs> Maybe that'll be a good find for you guys, who knows. I mean, I could very easily have done everything without buying 47 amethysts, but I don't really want to put in all that time for no reason. When I can just do this, that'll save me like 20 hours of my time. 20 hours I can do anything else really 20 hours is enough time to beat the entire Devil May Cry 5 play or the entire Devil May Cry 5 series <laughs> well video game Monica's sword only for this guy okay let's save on up this will be a little more fun I like using Monica's sword it's fun gameplay in my opinion all right, let's go get it. I think this is one of the hardest floors in the game. Yeah, I will never get used to that. I always want to skip that cutscene, but it just doesn't happen. We got stamina, power in case there's some strong enemies or something. Garuda. Looks better in Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> and this place it really is not as hard as I remember it being. These enemies are weak. Okay, here's some tougher enemies. Okay, now I'm getting screwed. Basically, if I take one hit, I'm dead. I don't want that enemy to blow up. Yeah, I literally can't do anything. I have to open the menu. If that enemy blows up and deals damage to other enemies, I'm basically just gonna die. Offer. It's just, it's kind of annoying because she's just not effective against these enemies to begin with. And when there's more than one, it's hard to manage them. All right, here we go. Ah, oh, you suck. Why you gotta do that? Come over here. Good old one, two, three spam until we win. <laughs> this is probably the best way to handle it. There we go. I said it was easy, and then it got not so easy. Okay, hopefully we don't have to fight two of those things together again. I 
this thing can also cause a problem. Oh no, it's not what I thought it was. I thought it was an enemy that throws bombs. Those things can cause a problem. Decent experience points for us right there. Let's just hop on our Gemron to collect the experiences. I said it like that on purpose, don't worry. <laughs> Making progress. This enemy kind of looks like the stereotype of a rice farmer. I feel like we gotta speed things up a touch, so we're just gonna kinda zoom through a couple of these floors, not bother picking the experience up. Oh man, okay, well at least one of them fell off. It does not mean I want the other one to fall off. Well, you win some and you lose some. And we have to deal with this crap again. It's like it happened on purpose. <laughs> okay, let's just take this thing out of the picture. And it's the exact same pack all over again. Okay. Okay, now the problem is we have two of them and they're both in Berserker stance. That thing does so much damage. <laughs> so much damage. Dude, I just ate something, come on. Stop making me open up the menus. Well, at least they're not one-shotting me. It's a good thing I gave her some Fruit of Edens. Okay, that one's down. Playing a literal menu minigame. Okay, that's done. Alright. I'm not gonna say that was smooth, but... There are definitely worse things to need to deal with than that. <laughs> Got a choice? Cheese, please. Okay, let's get going. Stop falling off the bridge. Or the staircase, whatever you want to call it. It's not really a bridge. Sweet, sweet dynamite. I really like that thing's hat. Seriously, it looks cool. <laughs> I'm okay with fighting these things, but one at a time, all right? If I have to fight two, it's a pain in the it's a pain in the butt. Okay, I messed it up right there. Okay, let's go for a charge attack. Okay, that's done. Uh, I think we have time. I'll pick the experience up. It only takes an extra second sometimes. Oh crap, there's another one up there. If this pack right here is three of those ball things, I'm going to cry. Okay, it's an easy pack. In theory, it's an easy pack. That's why I said in theory. Uh, they don't do a lot of damage, it's okay. Oh. I'm literally eating my entire stack of cheese. <laughs> Part of me wants to see my sword level up because of how close it is, but there's really no point for it to level up. It doesn't actually accomplish anything. Oh, 
Oh, why you gotta why you gotta play me dirty like that? Alright. That wasn't a very clean feeling fight. Oh well. One more mob. I don't think there's any mimics now. We haven't fought any mimics on this floor. So unless these two chests here are literally both king mimics, there's nothing else. Except one of these frickin' eyeball boulders. And he still hit me. Okay, let's just knock him down and then give him the good old one, two, three. Alright. This seems to be the best way to deal with them. And the animation block seems to give us a little bit more time to handle it. Okay, we're done. That's one, and that's two. Let's go for the good old three out of one, or three in one. Ah, oh, this one sucks. <laughs> okay, can we do this in six shots? Yeah, it seems like we can make one mistake too, but since we're here, I'd rather not make any mistakes. Okay, so hopefully this works. That was close. That looks fine. Oh, that's perfect, actually. Beautiful. Beautiful. That was actually a very nice shot. Awesome. Look at the game actually helping me out. <laughs> no, I've gotten pretty lucky sometimes during this playthrough. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. That is so beautiful. It's easy now, as long as we don't mess up our shot. Nice. That was... All things considered, that was a decently smooth floor. We have a pretty far back track, but that's what Steve is for. Emerald. It's like we're doing every floor that doesn't have the Fruit of Edens that we need. Oh well. We have done a lot of things to make the game as easy as possible, so some hardships are to be expected, I guess. Let's open these, because we might get holy stones and need some. Yeah, we'll open this. This would have a higher chance of having holy stones in it, actually. Alright, don't really need that. But it was worth a shot. Right here. Okay, what's up next for us? The ultimate snake, okay. Ah, oh, this is an item floor. So I think that there are actually dragons on this floor. Oh well, we're just gonna kinda go through here on Steve or something to uh, beat the time challenge and then we'll do the item bit after. Problem is, I know that some enemies will literally take a whole stack of final bombs to take out. Let's see if this is the key. If it is, that'd be wow. That is that's beautiful. That's actually amazing. Keep the keep, remember, keep the key right beside the lock. That's how you do things. Right. Oh man, they just love doing that kind of thing. There are enemies on an item takeout floor that'll deal damage to enemies in the surroundings just to make things more annoying. This 
This thing has like 10k HP. This will probably be one of the harder floors to do the item metal on. When I come to do this floor, I honestly might just kind of go through the entire place and just take care of those tanks, and then I'll do the rest of the enemies. It's tedious and requires backtracking, but it's better than wasting time. The dead ro Oh, we already fought this thing. He's not really an ultimate snake when we already fought it. We are fighting the ultimate wraith, though. This is refuel, and we should probably fix our weapon too. How much more ride pod fuel do we have? Uh, one. I think stone berries will probably be the best enemy for taking those tanks out. Because it'll kind of paralyze them and stuff. Those balls right there are what's going to be the problem. Yeah, because like that just did damage to that wraith right there. And that'll 100% mess you up if you're going for the metal. A lot of chests. There's probably some mimics. I am surprised we have not fought a Mimic yet. Maybe it's just all the treasures just, just so happens to be right here. Iron Ghost. The bane of my existence, possibly. Okay, here's a Mimic. King Mimic, too. Huh, only one King Mimic on the floor. No, there's another chest, so that's probably another King Mimic. If I were to take an edumacated guess. C is down. Oh well, we should still be able to do this. Let's hop on Max. Okay, just go right through the enemy, sure. It's okay, we do high damage. <laughs> This is 100% a Mimic, so we have to open it. Yeah, saw it coming. I already knew it. Usually when there's a King Mimic, there's two. Oh well, he's weak. Okay, I wanna test. I want to test it. Will this end? It? Will this thing par paralyze these things? Okay, yeah, that's beautiful then. So that'll be the best item for taking these things out. So that'll make it a lot easier. Good. Because those explosions are gonna really suck to deal with. So it'll be good to paralyze the uh, enemies that will like throw bombs or shoot things. It'll deal damage to other things. Uh, two shots for this, okay, that's possible. Just kinda hard. Okay, we're gonna try for a straight shot. So let's just kinda get this over against the wall here, I guess. And hopefully it'll line up properly. Oh, nice. Okay, we don't wanna hit this too hard, but we don't wanna hit it too light either. I think this will get us where we need. Yep, beautiful.
Pearl. Oh yeah, Steve's down. We're gonna have to have Cedric fix him up for us. Where's our oil? It's right here. Okay, we're just gonna have to leave anyway. We're gonna have Cedric take a look at Steve quickly. Although we're also gonna have to go buy some more ride pod fuel as well. This music's a nice change of pace. Nice quick little fix right there. Go to Palm Brinks. Talk to Morton. Morton Sundraz, whatever his shop's called. <laughs> okay, uh, we're gonna have to sell some stuff. That's a useless crystal. And I'm probably not going to use these ever again. Okay, so max our stack. Cool. Back to the mines. Anxiety. Omen. Let's do this floor. Gotta be a little careful because there's a white seal on this floor. Luckily, Max's hammer should be up to the up to the task. Alright. Well, I'm fairly confident that we can do this. <laughs> We're gonna go this way first, just to increase the chance that we get the key. The Bone King, huh? Well, he certainly looks like he fits the fits the message. Well, there's no there's nothing saying we can't heal because we can just go hop in that fountain if we end up with low HP. So it's fine. There is one way to heal. It'll just take some time. Sweet. All right, here we go. This is the big boy. Okay. Of course, of course that hit me, somehow. And it deals damage through my block, of course. Yeah, that's a p this is a pain. Uh, I think this guy, uh, he doesn't do damage through a block, that's good. Okay, we're gonna have to be extra careful with this dragon. And we're dead, nice. Well, the only thing we can do is just break the white seal. That seems to be our only option. So uh, we're gonna have to just kind of come back for the metal. That's fine. We can at least do the time challenge. Not the speeder though. If the speed ends up being really easy, I'll consider just resing max. We'll see. Okay, let's check out this corner over here. Okay, just making sure. Oh yeah, I think I can actually talk to this guy. Yeah. 
I can't believe I've lived to the day that humans would defile our sacred realm. <laughs> It'd be cool if they uh, made it so instead of turning into a Gemron, you could turn into a Dragon. Oh man, those enemies are going to suck to deal with Max. Oh, I think he'll be decently strong against them. Okay, so Armband is the way to go. Alright. Okay, that was close, but we got it. Okay, he's just sitting there waiting. What a patient enemy. <laughs> okay, well, we should have time to do this. Uh, I think this floor, we only got 10 minutes. But that should still be enough. Well, considering the fact that we haven't found the key, means that it's probably going to be closer to the lock again. Okay, she's good against them. Max, not so much. This is a clown. Got resurrection powder for us there. <laughs> oh, thanks. Something I don't need. <laughs> oh, there's only like two things I can actually get that are helpful at this point. Holy stones and resurrection powder. And I mean, I guess I could use level up powder, but it's not going to really help me out that much, honestly. Because my weapons are basically maxed. Aside from some of the secondary stats. Okay, let's just handle this guy from afar. We can get up close and personal for the other ones. Okay, nice. He's stunned. And he's not doing anything, so that's easy. This is actually going to be a decently hard floor to do with Max. This is one of the... This is kind of why I don't like using his hammer, because it's sluggish. So this will actually be kind of hard to do with him. Okay, he doesn't do damage through blocks, which is good. I can't heal. There's a white seal on this floor. Okay, nice. As long as we can beat the time challenge on this floor, we're set. Well, and breaking the white seal, that'll make it a lot easier too. Because then actually being able to heal is a good thing. I mean, if there's a weak enemy in here, or an enemy weak against her armband, I'm going to attack them first so that I can heal. Okay, maybe this, this guy has potential. Yeah, there we go. Because her armband has absorption, so we can heal a little bit. Sweet. There we go, basically max HP now. So we'll take this guy down with our sword. Alright, if there's no Mimics, we're done. There's at least one Mimic in here. King Mimic, nice and easy. Okay, there's two. Right beside each other. I don't really know how well two Kings would work. Okay, we broke the seal. That's a somewhat easy shot, but I've seen better, so I'm not gonna use the resurrection powder on Max. I'd rather save it for another scenario just in case, so let's go.
Okay, we're just gonna organize my inventory. Okay. All right, let's just back out and come back in so he heals the full HP for free. We are gonna end up needing to run that floor again. That's probably one that I'll end up doing off camera though. The one that I'm gonna have on camera for the metal head is very likely going to be um, an item floor. Okay, so this is a Monica Magic only one. I think we can do it. Okay, new save. We at 70 hours yet? Yeah, we are. We have 12 and a half minutes to do this. That's uh, that's what stamina drink is for. <laughs> Oh, these are cards, huh? So we need to use only her armband. Well, at least we uh, can attack from range, I guess. I don't think I'm going to have all the time in the world to pick up the experience, so let's just kind of start clearing this place down a little... Clearing through this place a little bit first. Okay, I'm okay with group together enemies. It's usually more efficient. So Monica needs to deal with the strong cards, okay. It would be nice if these enemies weren't literally designed to be strong against her magic. These diamonds were weak against Max's gun, so maybe they'll be weak against her magic. Yeah, they're a little bit weaker against it. One hit, and she's dead. Okay. I think what we are gonna... We've only been in here for two enemies, so I think we're just gonna do this and go back in. <laughs> I think that's the right decision, and we're just gonna go in and give it another try. Okay, well, one hit from them will take you out if you don't have all the Fruit of Eden and armor drops from this place from winning Speeda. Yeah, we only took out two enemies. That's not that big a deal to start. Maybe we'll get a better formed map this time, too. Yeah, this map is smaller and smoother. There's more narrow hallways, so it seems like the speed of the may spawn could be better too. Or it has a higher potential. Okay, he's stuck on the wall. I can't rely on that though. If that hits me, it would probably take me out. This is a very tedious level. It's worse that some of these enemies heal. Luckily, my stop is kind of helping out a bit right here. I would say it's nice that my armband will heal me, but the thing is, if I get hit even once, I'm just going to go down anyway. <laughs> okay, these spades take decent damage. These cards have like 10,000 HP. A 
I'll take that as a sign to use a stamina drink here. <laughs> a lot of enemies close together, so every little bit helps. I don't even feel like I'm doing that much more damage, honestly. Don't get hit, because if you do, you're done. I don't really want to use Resurrection Powder here, especially. And we do have a time limit to beat, so... We can use some stamina drinks here. Yeah, I honestly feel like it doesn't even increase my damage that much. It's only like 20%. Well, 20% is pretty big, but when it still takes a while anyway, it doesn't really feel that great. Okay, this guy's slow. We seem to get a lot of those chill stones to drop. I'm okay with that drop. Okay, he's stuck on the wall. No, he's not. Okay, he's stunned. Okay, sweet. This is taking a little bit, so I don't really want to sit around. Hoping that, uh... I can get the experience points. I don't want to be... I don't want to do this again. Although we are going to have to pick a floor to just grind. To uh, get the last levels needed for the monster transformation. Whatever floor I find to be the most efficient is the one that I'll do. And it's the one that I'll recommend to you to do. That's done. Make extra sure you have the red explanation mark before you press X so that you don't accidentally attack and ruin the metal and then you need to redo it anyway. I have done that before and it sucks. Okay, let's just fix her armband. And we can't drink another one until the effect is gone. I have no idea what these enemies would even be weak against, like what elements. Okay, we got a heart over here. One of the Healy boys. Hopefully we can get him down before they heal or attack us. Okay. Okay, they're stunned. We have the potential. Nice. All right, another heart. And they're down. Monster form, because it's faster. We'll get the guy up in the top right first. Of course, it's another heart. I don't have a timer or anything, but I think we'll get this done in time. OK, 
Okay, they're stunned. Nice. Okay, a spade. They take higher damage, so it's okay. Okay, we're done. Hopefully. And that's two. Sweet. Let's go for number three. Hmm. What'll be the best route to go with this one? Oh, yeah, we should probably put the put a speed of club on. That'll make it a little better. Hmm. I think going the bottom route will be a little bit better, so we're gonna go the bottom route. Harder shot for this one. Because we need more distance. Need to cover more distance, whatever you want to say. Okay, beautiful. It's right where we need it. Okay, this one doesn't need to be as hard. It's not perfect, but it's good. That's fine. It's in a straight shot area. Okay, we are gonna go closer to the right because that's kind of where we need to go. I think that shot will be fine. Don't wanna hit it too hard. Just enough to go over the hump. And not get stuck. God, I'm happy that didn't get stuck. <laughs> oh, we can see it. Let's just go for it. Straight shot. Let's go. Damn. Nice. Three and one. So we are done. No need to deal with anxiety ever again. Because <laughs> that's what this floor is called, you know. All right, let's go get our reward and get out of here. Let's open this up. Who knows what it'll be? Another Peridot, okay. Yeah, like all the speedo I'm actually winning is giving the rewards that we don't need. And all the speedo that I'm losing is the ones that'll give the rewards that we do need. That's usually how it works though, all right? <laughs> oh well. Uh, what, two or three more floors? Two more, okay. Firm belief, that's another item only floor. We're gonna save up before we do this one. Depending on what enemies are in here, this might be one of the harder ones. Anyway, we're just going to beat the timer on this run through. A Minotaurus. Yeah, of course, there's more of these enemies here just to mess your day up. Yeah, this might be a decently hard floor to do the item thing on as well. It's just going to be the uh, Iron Ghosts that are a problem, because they have their explosions. They just had to put those enemies in here. <laughs> well, they probably did that on purpose to make it more challenging. Okay, we're taking some damage. We're getting beat up. And he's down. I think that should be okay. 
We uh, did some good work with him. Well, nonetheless, there's decent experience for the monster on this floor. Ah, oh, we don't have our key, do we? I don't think we do. No, we don't. Backtracking it is. Unless this just so happens to be what we're looking for. No. <laughs> yeah, so backtracking it is. Uh, I don't want to get too close to him. There's no reason to. There's quite a few enemies on this floor to worry about when doing the item thing. Quite a couple of them are going to mess your day up. With their uh, ability to deal damage to other monsters. So I'll probably end up recording this floor or the other floor in the actual Metalhead video. And she's dead. Okay, we still have potential because we got max a million. Because he's going to max the millions or something like that. Okay, then let's just put his hammer back on because I don't want to shoot this thing for 13 hours. There's probably a Mimic or two in this room. And at least one of them has the key. Unfortunately, we only have our slow runner up now. But I think that we've worked fast enough for where we have enough time to run over there. This is not a particularly large map, so I think it's okay. Alright, no Mimics. Cheese, it's nice, we need it. Alright, moving on. <laughs> now there's a few enemies close together. This is one of those situations where uh, you could really get screwed when doing the item portion of the metal or whatever. Yeah, because like, okay, that's not so bad, but like, especially if there were like, um, of course you're running at me. Yeah. If one of those tanks was in that pack of enemies, it would be very hard to actually deal with it. And if that explosion there dealt damage to an enemy, your metal's done. So this can definitely be a very frustrating experience to get the metal. Okay. Just completely go through them. Look at those crits. <laughs> anyway, we're done here. Time challenge complete. Speeda, let's go get it. This one doesn't look too great. This one's possible, but it's not going to be easy. That one may have been a little too hard. Uh, closer to max.
That was close. Almost went into the red zone. Okay, we still have two hits, so there's still potential for getting this one done. Okay, we're basically just going to hit this straight up. Oh my god, okay, yeah, we're done. I, I definitely saw that coming. The game just kind of wanted us to fail. Well, only one thing we can do now. Maximum effort ricochet. <laughs> That did not do anything. Actually, no, yeah, we're out of bounds anyway. I kind of, I just kind of had a feeling that would happen for some reason. What's my ride pod fuel like? Is it maxed? Yeah. Well, I think it'll be better to just have Cedric fix us anyway. Uh, there's only one more floor after this one, if I'm not mistaken. We need to leave anyway to have Monica heal up for us. Cedric is the man because he does all this stuff for free and he does it in like three seconds too. Nobody can beat Cedric. All right. I should probably save before we go and do the last floor. It's probably a good idea so we don't have to redo stuff. I don't think there was a single red or blue seal floor in the Zelmite Mines, actually. Yeah, there's not a single blue or red seal floor in the mines. All right. <laughs> so we just got to do this one without healing. That shouldn't be too hard. Final, final level music to know it's official. <laughs> okay, Steve, you, Steve, you do this because you're the best. No locked gate in this floor, maybe? No, there isn't. Sweet. There's probably mimics, though. Steve the Dragon Slayer. Literally. Oh man, there's one enemy and some random dead end over here. I didn't notice it at first. Oh well, we can just go get the enemies in the hit small niche parts of this map as well, since we're already doing it. We have plenty of time to actually clear this floor. Alright, we're done. Let's go. We move at the same speed whether we're blocking or not blocking. Another Bone King, I heard the rattle. Let's just fix our weapon up a bit since the weapon HP goes down so quick, so quickly. 
The durability on this weapon is horrible. Ah, uh, you get what you pay for, I guess. Although this is the best weapon in the game. There's literally no durability on this weapon. Is there any durability on any Ride Pod weapon, actually? I don't think so. This stick is more durable than Steve's swords. That makes sense. <laughs> I don't really think it's the weapons that break easily, I just think it's the actual enemies that deal the weapon HP damage. If I went into the underground sewers and started taking enemies down with these swords, the weapon durability probably won't go down as quick as it does in this place. <laughs> I haven't tested it, and I mean I'm probably not going to, it's just a guess. Okay, here we go, King Mimics. Max would probably take this thing down faster, honestly. I think all of these enemies are weak against Max, so I think he'll be... Oh. Well, except for this one th enemy. This thing's undead. Why isn't he weak against it? We'll take these big guys down with Steve, but those dragons will go down quicker with Max, for sure. Okay, we're gonna have to repair it because there's another one. I don't really want to equip Max's hammer, so we'll just Steve it. <laughs> okay, I can hear that. I'm just gonna block. All right, it didn't even come over towards us, so we're okay. Okay, so I guess the other one's the mimic. That's fine. Giving us all the big enemies up here. Alright, time for the Mimic. And we're just gonna hop on Max for this, because he'll handle it faster. Okay, so that's two out of three. Let's go see if we can get three out of three. Let's go and get three out of three. Beautiful. Three out of three. First try. Nice. I love it. Topaz. Alright, cool. That went pretty smoothly. I like it. We got most of the metals on our first try. We're gonna have to redo some floors, of course, but that just makes sense, really. And that's three out of three. All right, well, we can go in here, but nothing's gonna actually happen. We can't go any further, even if we wanted to. We need a certain item, which is in one of the dead ends. All right, so let's look at what we still have to do. That one's done. That just needs speed -a, item floor. I I'm really just looking for how many item floors there are. Two, three, Four. 
four. Five. Six. Seven. Man, there's so many. Eight. Nine. Ten. Man, they're throwing ten item floors at us. That is horrible. I don't even want to do one. <laughs> anyway. All right, everyone, we are going to leave it here for this episode. The next episode will probably be the Metalhead video, and then the one after will likely be the Monster video. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, I am probably going to play as Monica on these item levels and just kind of take enemies down with, with the items and then hop over to the Gemron to get some levels. That way I'm not wasting time. And yeah, that's it. So hopefully this video helped you. I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope you have a good day and we'll see you soon. Bye.